How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and The Sims Sunday. And uh, just a side note, we're pausing just a second. A lot of you guys were saying that you love the new background, which is amazing. And also, I added this addition to the background. You see it? This is the poster that I promised I would eventually use once my setup was more complete and I moved in. And here it is. This is all the thumbnails uh, from the fan who made this for me. I, I love this. And I think it goes so well together. Like, it just... I'm surrounded by Daz. It's amazing. Let's play The Sims. Let me know what you think of the old background. So when we left off, we were still... Oh, look. An elect electrical device is just um, gone. I'm going to literally... Let's, should we hire a repair service and see what happens? I've never done that before. Maybe the repairman will get electrocuted. I don't know. I think, uh, what's her face? Bless her heart. What's her name? I've forgotten her name now. What's her name? Brianna. I think Brianna wanted a coffee. Oh, and so does, um, Thingy, but she can't. She's now calling the repairman. Lara, bless her heart. So we're all, like, really getting over first death now. And it's really hard. And in the last episode, there was a lot of crying. It was really just sad and slow, the last episode. I apologize for that, but you know, that's what happens when someone dies, and first is now in between Nipples and Summer, her mum and dad on this table, as kind of like a, um, a tribute to them, but I, I feel that a table in the hallway really isn't a good tribute, so at some point in this video, I really want to create, like, a garden for them, or something, like, in the memory of all the sims that we look after when they die, I really want to create an area for them, like a graveyard, um, something a little bit more fitting. Because these being in the- who the hell was that? Well, that's the repair lady. Hey, repair lady! Well, you're rocking that outfit, or <laughs> whatever it is. Alright, so she's gonna- she's gonna fix this, I see. Okay. Alright, she's, uh, looking it over, I think. Yeah, there she goes. Sticking the screwdriver in. Doesn't sound so- who the hell is this? Who's that? Who are you? Alright, um, Lara, you need to come over here right now and... Right, let's invite in and see who they are. I have no idea who that is. Never seen that sim before in my life. Okay. Just invite her in, Lara, and see what she's all about. Oh, God. Oh, I mean, he's introducing himself to the mechanic. Or mechanic, I suppose, the engineer, or whatever the hell she is. He's very friendly, old Amir. Now, there's the sim. There's the weird sim. What's her name? Let's have a look at her name. Get, getting close. Erica. Erica Goddard. What? Well, okay. Lara, you need to... Even though you are very sad still, like you need to sort of, like, say hello, I think. Someone must have invited her over here. Someone must know her from somewhere. How's little Jake doing? Jake seems okay. He's happy about himself. And as usual, at the start of every episode, Tits is literally just asleep. She's always asleep, this girl. Like, she's got... She must not sleep very well. And who can blame her at the moment? Her sister just died. Not too long ago, she lost her parents. It's a lot to take in. Why are they talking to this repair lady? Like, she's done her job. She's fixed the coffee machine. Let's let her go. Flirty. Why is he flirty? No, 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 no. Don't start this, right? You, you're a father now, okay? You've got a beautiful wife, Lara, here, who's cooked you some shit that you haven't eaten. You're not, you're not messing around. And who is this sim? Can someone explain this to me? Who knows her? It might be one of Brianne's friends, to be honest. Because she's new to the house, remember? And we don't really know, like, what she... We don't really know her that well, to be honest. And, you know, this might be one of her friends. That's the only explanation I have for this strange sim. So maybe Brianna should come over and hip bump with, um, what's her face? Erica. Okay. Oh, uh, the repair lady, I think, is leaving now after a friendly discussion and fixing our coffee machine. Thank you! Come back again when something breaks. I, I really just don't trust my sims to, you know, fix anything after first death. That really sort of took it out of everyone. As you can see, like, Lara is still really, really sad. And the reason is because she's mourning. She's mourning the death of a loved one first. And now she's going to bed to cry out. Lara, come on! Get out there! Explore some possibilities! First one want to see you like this. Oh dear Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, is, is this your friend? Okay, they are quite close friends, so yeah, the, um, it is Brianne's friend. 
I mean, we don't really do much with Jake. I mean, there's not. I mean, there are slip and slides and pulls and stuff, but there really isn't a lot for Jake to do. I'm kind of thinking maybe we should put some stuff out here for Jake to enjoy as well. Okay, let, let's go into build mode quickly and move some stuff around. Like this bin can literally just go down here. There's no need for it to be up the other end of the garden. And we'll move that a little bit further up. Like, try and get some more room in here for some toys. It's a bird box, which rich, literally does nothing. <laughs> Let, let's move that plant over. Okay, so we've got a little space here now. So that we can we can, uh, we can can put something down for Jake. Let's look at the garden stuff. Are there any, like, toys? I'm sure there are some toys that he can play with. Alright, so here we go. We've, we've actually got some outdoorsy stuff right now. Um, what's this? Steampunk Flame Jack. I believe we have a bronze panel spins. A rocket ship. We've got most date technology. And the inside is only what's on the outside that counts, right? So what's this? Oh my god. What the hell? This is a launch pad? What the hell? Should we put it over here? This can be Jake's little playground, I guess. Um, this is a rocket, right? <laughs> I don't even know what I've done. <laughs> okay, oh, there's some climbing frames. Yeah, we can create our own little park down here. Of things to do. This is this this is quite a good idea, I feel. Backyard observatory. Oh my god, this is amazing! Like all these things that I didn't even know existed. All right, let's get Jake like playing on some of these things. We can't go on the rocket. I guess he's too young. Oh, I think an adult has to build it. Lara, come and build your son his space rocket thing to play in. Okay. So let's get Jake over to our new park, which we literally own our own park. How cool is this? Who owns a park? No one! That's the answer! Alright, so Jake and Lara are coming over here now. Look at that mother and son. Lara is still really upset. I need to get her out of this thunk. Maybe concentrating on building her son's new play rocket. They, uh, can- holy crap. That's literally huge. Like, Jesus! Why is it so big? I didn't know it'd be like this. Okay, while she's building that literally huge thing. <laughs> Jake is playing on the monkey bars. Go on, Jake. Show us what you can do. Show us your skill. Show us that you're spider boy. Yeah! I can't do that. Every time I try and do that, I like, I, like dislocate my neck. Whoa! Alright, you need to calm down, Lara. Let's speed things up a little bit. Why is this taking so long? Why is it so complex? I don't understand. Okay, the, I, I'm starting to think that maybe this isn't a toy. Like, this is not a toy, is it? I mean, I don't think this is a toy, to be honest. Oh, Jake is now asleep. Let's get um, tits out here as she's sad. What's this? Ooh, there's some fruit. Okay. Spy on neighbors. Oh my god, we have to do that. Tits is gonna spy on the neighbor. Okay, she's going up. Whoa! Whoa! Did that move? Whoa! That is an actual real microscope. <clears throat> is this a real rocket? I'm starting to think that this is actually a real rocket and not just a kid's toy. Okay, she's having no fun doing this. Let's get someone else to take over. Oh, Brianne! Could you continue building the rocket, please? Whilst I, I just we need to see what this is. Everyone seems to be having fun, apart from Lara, who is not having fun. Uh, she needs to go to the toilet, like, right now. Okay, toilet. Take a shower. She's still in there, like, looking at the neighbours. <laughs> I mean, that is crazy! What, what, you can give these sims? I didn't even have a clue that any of these existed. Brianna's is like working long and hard into the night. On a spaceship. A literal spaceship. Like, this is actually... A spaceship, isn't it? There's no way this is for kids. It's way too big, it's got real rockets. Like, it doesn't look kid-friendly. Why would you have a real space rocket? Okay, who's this? Okay, Jake, I think, was talking to a ghost. Which ghost was he talking to? It looked like Summer. There, look, there's Summer. And there was a negative above his head. So was she being mean to him? Okay, great, thanks. Why are you being a bitch, Summer? Why are you breaking our shower? She's still out there in that microscope. I think she really likes it, actually. If she likes that sort of stuff, then maybe she can finish building um, Jake's rocket. 
Jackie's really bored. Um, he really should actually go to the toilet because he needs. To oh, okay. Where, where's she going? Yeah, she's going to wash her hands in that sink. Okay, that makes perfect sense. All right, her energy is literally gone. Like she doesn't have any energy. She's going up to bed, which makes sense. And now we're just left with Jake. Tits is over here. Oh man, her energy is not. And the space rocket thing is just not built. I have no idea what that thing is, but we're going to find out. Jake's finding it. Why is he wearing, like, those slippers? They just don't suit him at all. What the hell? Summer, will you please stop breaking my goddamn stuff? Why is she being such an ass? So he's literally, um, talking to his grandmother, which is Summer, which is nice. He got to meet her in death. A luxury that most of us don't have. But he's now going to bed anyway. You shouldn't be out this late, young man. What are you doing? What? Well, she's literally went from one computer to the other. I don't understand. Maybe she wants to be near Jake. That's kind of sweet if you think about it that way. Tits and Brianna are both asleep. And if we go over to the other house, Lara and Amir are both asleep as well. And now Jake is going to bed. And his grandmother, Summer, is making sure that everything is broken for some reason. Okay, so literally the whole house is asleep right now. But we've got Summer here. We can't take control of Summer. I think you should be able to take control of ghosts when they appear because, of, you know, they pretty much were part of the household. Are oh, you going to break my sink now? Do you have anything better to do? Go rattle some chains somewhere. See, look, now it's broken. See what you've done? Broken it. Oh, look, I got the money to replace it. Why is she being so mean to the house? What, what is she so angry for? I know you're dead, but, you know, it could be worse. Oh, Amir's woken up. He's the first one to wake up. It's like five in the morning, Amir. Why are you up? Oh, Jake's up as well. Oh, what's wrong with Jake? Uncomfortable. Scared of monsters. Oh, no. Like, get in there. Where's he going? Ah, He's running to his mum. <laughs> I've never seen this. Where's he running? Where's he going? He's waking everyone up. <laughs> Why is he waking everyone up just because of monsters? Oh, he's going to get his aunt. That makes sense. Auntie Tits will help. Oh, he got scared of monsters. I think it might have been Summer like lurking around as a ghost that really put him off. Level up. Okay. Rocket side. This is literally a real rocket. Another part's just been added to it, as you can see. Like, this is actually real. Okay, ooh, who's this on our property? Who's this? Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's that woman, isn't it? That we... Rianne Sherbert. And his name... Is Sherbert. That's that woman, like, at the end of that episode. Like, when we got married to him, we found out there was, like, another woman with his surname. And we didn't know who she was. She's much older than him. That's her. Jake, like, kids find out a lot of things, you know. Let's find out who she is. Cheshire. Binkapa Baru. Gorsoy. Who is she? Who are you? He's with Lara now. Right, so Tess is uh, building this rocket. I can't believe this episode. <laughs> We're going on dinner dates with ghost sisters. We've got possible exes coming back to ruin new marriages whilst he's off being a secret agent. And Tits is building a rocket in the yard. What What is life right now? It's actually built. Look at it. It's huge. And Jake can't actually use it. Like, I can't actually get him to select him to do anything at all. Woohoo with... What, in a space rocket? What? That makes no sense. Explore space. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what this is all about. Right. Oh my god, she's actually in an astronaut's clothes. Here we go. What the hell? What? It's actually a real rocket. I just see another ship. Blast its trash in the airlock. Now all the space debris is hurling Brianna's way. 
See what I on strikes the craft and tears a hole in the fuselage. Granite is stuck out into deep space. She takes a moment to be thankful. She puts on her full spacesuit today. Now what? Try to grab ship. What? Is she okay? She's level two rocket scientist. What? What's gonna happen? Why did Brianna spring for extra checking coat on her space gloves? Breathing heavily, she bounces down the body of the ship, desperately grabs, failing to find purchases. Finally, she gets hold of some cables, ripping the hydro line for the ship's stabilizer. The ship automatically activates its emergency beacon. Oh my god! Is she okay? She's lost in space. Will she get back?